The goal of our project was to develop a seizure prediction system. We have built a plant-based air filtration unit. So we built a mobile app for palliative care tracking in low resource settings. So the design showcase is pretty much where uh, all teams of all ages, freshmen through seniors, uh, come out here and they show what they've been working on. The purpose of the project is to give uh, prosthetic users sensory feedback inside of their prosthetic limbs. These are really bright ideas that people have really had uh, just at their desk of, you know, six, five people that they've been working on. But when people get to see it, uh, you really realize, like, there are really brilliant students at this university that are doing things that can affect people beyond the hedges. Maybe it's over in Malawi, or maybe it's down the street inside of Third Ward. Um, some of the things that are being worked on here are really great projects that are going to impact people's lives. So I built this and it was super fun. I really enjoyed every moment of it. My team was great and we had a really good time doing it. There's a lot of planning involved, but in the end I think we have a really great product. This year when our engineering students are showing off their design projects, one of the things that I'm noticing is that a lot of elementary, middle, and high school students are coming to see the work of our um, older students. And it's really gratifying to see our students explain the technologies that they've spent this year developing to young up-and-coming engineers. The Excellence in Engineering Prize, first place Engineering Design Award for 2017. This award comes with a $5,000 award and it goes to Ictal Inhibitors. I think we are all thrilled. Um, it's a really well-motivated project. We really want this project to succeed because we think it'll help a lot of people. A lot of people need this uh, treatment to be developed. Three, four. <laughs>